in reality, part of the mercy of Allah is that He penalizes those who deserve to be penalized. Someone murdered your relative. The mercy of Allah dictates that you see justice. That person needs to face some form of penalization. They need to, otherwise people would do what they want. So it's easy for a person who is sitting with a good heart, has not really seen the world to say, what was the need of having a prison? What was the need of having hellfire when Allah is so merciful? Yet those who know and they've been through the mill and they've been robbed and they've been cheated and deceived, they are waiting for the day of justice. Are they not? They are waiting for the day that Allah will serve justice and part of the justice and mercy of Allah is that those who wronged you don't worry a day will come when you will see that justice in this world people can get away today you have a court case you don't even know what's going to happen most countries in the world there is tempering that goes on in one way or another be it in a greater way or a smaller so you may never see justice on earth from aforetime, look at the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam and others who were absolutely innocent, yet they were jailed long term. What was that? Would you not like to see justice if you were jailed long term recently in one of the countries, a certain brother was jailed for many, many years, apparently for more than two decades for, for a murder he did not commit. And when he was freed, subhanallah, see the smile on his face. One wonders what's going through his mind and his heart. May Allah make it easy for him and his family who lost him for 20 something years. My brothers, my sisters, the courts of Allah are more just than any other courts you could ever have. And part of the goodness of being a believer and part of the plan of Allah for having sent us on earth is to stand firm for justice.